Hi, welcome to Matt Holman Golf. I want to take a look at Stuart Appleby today. Hasn't been in quite the best form of late, but really one of the swings I've admired most. Um, and it's a swing that I've, I've looked at a lot. I shot 59 a few years ago. Great ball striker. He's had the same coach all the way through his career, a guy called Steve Band down from Melbourne in Australia. And he set up the Victoria Institute of Sport with a guy called Dale Lynch. And they've really produced most of the top Australian players. You know, you've got Appleby there, Allenby, um, Jeff Ogilvie. Um, and the list really goes on and on. There's Batley. Um, he works with Dale Lynch now again. So in 2010, I went down there actually and spent the winter just playing um, some Australian tour events and taking some lessons there. But I just really wanted to understand their method more. It had so much success, um, I thought it'd be good to, to go down there and find out what it was all about. So let's have a look at him doing this drill. This is a, a great transition drill. So for players that their lower body from the top doesn't tend to move forward enough, and it shows you, you know, even guys like Stuart Appleby, you think, and then maybe he doesn't need to work on these things these days. But you can see him doing this this drill here. It's, you know, very good for anyone that has issues with the lower body moving forward enough. So you can see one in the backswing. Well, first in terms of setup, his normal left foot position would be around here somewhere. So we started with a slightly narrower stance. Now, as the hand moves back look how much he drives the knee inwards and the heel and the whole foot actually is coming off the ground so there's different ways we can do this but he was definitely having issues why the way he's doing the or the way he's doing the drill here with coiling up completing turning in the backswing so you can see he's trying to get the left side working a little bit more which allows him to complete now as we get about three quarters of the way up He's now going to plant his foot in his usual hitting position. And that sequence there creates a movement where the swing has started from the lower body. So it started from the toe, then to the knee, then through the hip. There's a, a lower body movement forward. And then he can go and head and post up onto that left side and turn through. So now you're going to see on the left hand side... A very similar movement so again he moves across I've talked about this in a few of my videos you know, some guys are sort of a bit scared of sliding they, they often place their line sort of through the ankle joint there and we're really looking from the top to halfway down the left hip to hit this line so you're going to see by the time the left arm throws onto the ground is clearly his left hip has hit that line. Now he's going to turn around that and the line will move to about the middle of his knee. Sort of an average. So he's done that pretty much as good as it can be done. And then everything keeps moving through. So, you know, if the lower body's moving more forward than that line, then there's definitely a slide. If it doesn't reach that line, then the hips are turning too early. There's going to be synchronised synchronization issues tend to getting stuck on the way down push and pull hooks this is something Tiger's definitely worked in his career to get the lower body moving more forward because if it's moving more forward then there's less time for it to be rotating so it then means that the arms have moved further down in relation to how much the lower body's turned and everything can be more in sync but, you know like all these things it's not as simple as just moving the lower body or sliding as much as possible and that's really where I like this drill on the the right hand side so if you haven't got sort of backswing issues you don't need to drive the front knee in as much you can just feel that you just release the foot you then step and go ahead and turn through and with a little bit of practice you'll be surprised how consistent you can be doing this drill